everybody and welcome to my iPhone application development tutorial. This is the basic iPhone application development tutorial and um, we're going to call this hello world um, and basically what's going to happen is the user will enter the name into a text field and when they click the enter button it will say hello their name which will be your name and um, we'll also do a quick check using um, is equal to string which will check that if the name is the same as my name it will also add another message after that saying yeah you have an awesome name um, and if the input field is empty then the application will say hello world um, in the video description below feel free to click the link which will take you to a written tutorial um, for this and you can also download the um, source files so let's get started the first we need to do is open up Xcode and we need to create a single view application in the product name we can call this anything you want but I'm going to actually call this hello world choose a suitable location to save it and click create I've just saved it to my desktop for the moment In the left hand side in the project navigator you will see viewcontroller.m. This is your application implementation file. We need to go into here and in the first interface view controller we need to declare two properties. The first property is going to be for the um, <coughs> UI label which will display the message hello world, hello John, hello Mark. Um, so this needs to be property non-atomic weak um, an IB outlet um, and a UI label which we will call message label and then the second property that we need to declare is going to be for our UI text field which will get the value from the field the user enters uh, and then we can work with it so again at property non-atomic uh, week it's going to be another IB outlet this time UI text field and we will call this your name so that's great. Now in the implementation of ViewController, we need to declare three NS strings <coughs> inside an IB action, which will be the button the user presses um, when they want to run the application. So first we declare IB action, and we're going to call this enter, nice and simple. So this means anything inside here now, inside this block of code, won't, will not run until the user clicks the enter button, which will stop your app crashing straight away. So the first string we need to create will get the name from the UI text field. So we'll declare an a string called your name. Oh, sorry, up here actually we will call this input uh, input field. If I could spell. There we go. So an a string your name equals. <coughs> Uh, self dot and then input field which we've just redeclared um, dot text. Great, so now this assigns the value of the input field to an NS string called your name. The next NS string we need to declare will be my name. Which is Mark. And finally, we need to declare another any string called message, which will be the message that's display, displayed in the UI label. <coughs> now, when the user clicks the button, if the input field is empty, um, your app will crash um, because it won't be able to run anything. So we're just going to quickly put an if statement here to catch that, which says that if your name length computer is going really slow length and the operator double equals is equals to zero then your name becomes weld So next we're going to do the equals to. So if your name is the same as mine, then we're going to say, yay, we have the same name. For this, we're going to use um, the is equal to string. So again, another if statement. And if your name, sorry, put this in a square bracket, 
if your name is equals to string my name, then we can do something. And we will redeclare the message, which is what we set just here, as an ns string. string with format and we'll say hello now here we use a placeholder of percentage and an at symbol which is what the variable will be passed into so for instance if the variable <coughs> then becomes mark it will say hello mark in this place uh, we have the oh, sorry I shouldn't have closed that off we have the same name and then here is where we pass in the variable the next thing we're going to do is put an else because if the um, name isn't the same as mine we still want to display that name so we say else the message is equals to ns string string with format and we'll just say hello again create the placeholder for the variable and type in your name Oop, should be there Great, so that's it for our if else statement. And then just out of this if, the last thing in the IP action, we need to say self dot message label <coughs> dot text equals message. So basically we're saying that the label now will get whatever this value of this message is here, and then up here is where we decide what message is going to be. So that's it for the code inside of it. We now need to go into the main.storyboard um, and add in three elements. So in the main storyboard, the first thing we need to add in is a label. So we'll just drag the label onto the screen. And we will make it just a little bit bigger to make sure it can fit all the text in that we're going to output. We then need to add in a text field so the user can enter their name, so we'll just add this here. Um, and also in this text field we're going to create a little placeholder up here which just tells the user to enter your name. There we go. Um, and the last thing we need to add in is a button. Add that here we double click this button we can then edit the text and we can just say enter in fact the keyboard's going to come up so I'm just going to put that above and then drag everything down a little bit there we go also in the label just double click and remove the word label because we need that to be empty now on their own that's not going to do anything, we now need to associate those with the properties and stuff we've just created in the implementation file. So click the enter button and press and hold your control key, also click your mouse pad and hold down, drag down here to where it says view controller and then release. Um, and underneath sent events you'll see enter which was the property we just declared, click enter there. From the bottom this time click and drag up to label and click message label and the same from the bottom control click drag up and release over the text field to assign that to input field great now your app should be ready to go if we click the run up here again don't forget you can click the link below to go to the written tutorial for this and um, it's got a few other links to other resources you might find useful and other um, tutorials um, and you can also download the source code so you can start off with all the code so you know exactly what you're doing from the beginning. I just drag up my simulator. 
Oh, one second, my elements are a little bit too high, so I just need to stop the simulator from running. Highlight all of my elements. Drag them down a little bit. Let's say to about there should be good enough. Ah, oh, my computer's going really slow. If we run that application, yeah, if we just click run again, let's cancel that. There we go. So now let's test this out. So let's type in. Oh, what's that? Okay, just ignore that. It's because it double clicked twice. So let's type. Let's say your name is John. Let's type in John. And click enter. Hello, John. Now let's say that your name is also called Mark. So let's type in Mark and press enter. Hello, Mark. We have the same name. Oh, my UI label is a little bit too. Um, short to fit all in but you can see that it works and if we clear that and press enter on an empty UI text field it should say hello world there we go you've just coded your first application congratulations stay tuned on the subscribe channel and um, please like and share and also check out the written tutorial thank you very much